All right, and welcome to another episode of Cross Patching. Now today I want to talk about the Störmelder strip module. And a lot of you might know that you can have a little signal chain here, like a couple of modules connected together. Let's use this one. And you can use it to cut them and to paste them as well. Now there's one function off strip that is absolutely phenomenal and that is that you can save your own macros. And I'm going to show you how to do this now because this is drastically improving your workflow. And let's just build a simple sequencer sort of in the lines what we've done before. We use the pulser use the sec three use leakage and we use quantum and we can connect all of those external clock we have row one going in here Going out here, let's have a C minor scale. And row three, going to the CV output. Now let's say you really like this sequencer and you want to use it in several sessions without always building it. You can simply connect the strip here. You need to toggle it so it looks at the right. And then you can save as. And I'm going to be saving it on my desktop. And I just call it Test Sequencer. If you want to work this way, I strongly recommend that you have a folder in your documents where you just save all of those. I have a lot of those macros. I love using them. And it's just so much quicker. So I'm going to save this and I can now delete all of this stuff and let's pretend this is a new patch. This is a new project. I can go in here, load, go to desktop and have this VCVSS file, open it and there you go. It has all the settings. It would also uh, save the knob settings and has all the cables. And one thing that I would really recommend you create for yourself just to save time and to spend more time exploring and enjoying making music rather than just building functionalities would be to create a mixer as I have here. You just open this up and there you go, you know. It's connected to my MIDI controller. It is connected to a recording device, has a delay in it and a reverb. And I just need to patch this to my interface and some instruments in it and I'm ready to go. If I don't want it, just cut it and you're good. This video I wanted to show you because in the next few videos I want to show you how to create really cool complex sequencer macros such as this one for example this is my arbitrary sequencer and you see there is a lot going on and it is a fairly strange beast that I just really enjoy using and I want to use it more often so I made myself this macro also when you create macros for yourself they do really become more than just the sum of its parts. It becomes one grand module. And when you learn those, you become really fluent with them and you can work really effectively because you just know how they work and how everything is constructed. So I hope this video was helpful for you. And like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one where we go into some really complex sequencing. Have a good day. Bye.